As I'm here in sunny Miami, Florida, I'm here, ready, excuse me for holding the camera over there, I'm here ready to record, I'm going to the Dolphins game, uh, you know, DolphinsTalk.com, you know, gave me the opportunity, so I'm going to the Dolphins game, I'm going to be sitting in section 335, by the time you guys see this video, it's not really going to matter, but I'm going to the Dolphins game to record some content, we're also going to be vlogging, I guess, it's probably looking really weird, and I'm not going to be too comfortable doing it in public. Apparently, I can't hold the camera the way I was before, I, this is a lot of... A lot of hard takes, a lot of interesting stuff, but I'm going to be on my way to go pick up my friend. He's coming with me to help me uh, and just trying to watch the game with me. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we get a lot of people to talk. I really want a lot of people to kind of come out there and, you know, be enthusiastic. Going to be asking about Ryan Tannehill, the Miami Offense, Adam Gase, the front office, everything like that. So, hopefully I get a lot of people to talk. Uh, I'm going to incentivize them by saying, hey, if you want to put a little thing uh, with your IG name or your Twitter or whatever like that. And maybe some people like how they are, but yeah. Uh, I'll check back in with you guys when I go and pick up my friend. What's going on, guys? I'm Kai here for DolphinsTalk.com. Out in the parking lot here with two Dolphins fans. We're gonna ask them a couple questions. So I just wanna know how long you guys have been Dolphins fans, how long you've been supporting the Dolphins, and like that. Uh, about a year, really. I, I moved down here from New York, so I just started rooting when I came down. So because you moved down here, so now you're a Dolphins fan, just because you know hometown team, stuff like that. Well, that and my wife's family is from here, so I root for them down. When you were in New York, what were you? Oh, Giants, Giants fan. Man. Man. Giants fan. That's a good way to go. Yeah, you? Not this season. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's true, it's true. My dad's a Giants fan, so I understand. Yeah, I mean, he and I, my kids, we got the game together. I've been friends with him for a little bit, so he, I never had a really, like, Florida NFL team, so. So, yeah, yeah, so really just coming out to Yeah, we're out Stuff here. Stuff like that? We're rooting for it. Yes, sir. That's cool. What do you think about Ryan Tannehill being injured today? So he's out with uh, AC sprain in his uh, AC punch for his right shoulder. That's actually the first time I heard of it. Uh, I haven't listened up uh, until today, so that's the first time I heard that. Uh, I hope we do all right. I mean, he's a good player, so hopefully we can recruit and win. Do you think Brock Osweiler can win the game? Do you think he'll be able to pull it off? He's going to start. Hell yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah. Fully, fully capable. Fully capable. So we got some good Dolphins fans out here, optimistic about the game. Hopefully we can go inside and get a win. What's going on guys, Kai from DolphinsSock.com. I'm here with a Dolphins fan here in the tailgating. We're waiting to get into the game. Just going to ask him a couple questions. So how long have you been a Dolphins fan? Uh, yeah, just how long have you been a Dolphins fan? Since 72. So since like, We don't know what happened in 72. So undefeated season. Undefeated season ever since then. So how have you felt about the team since then? So obviously you had the Dan Marino era, and that didn't really produce Super Bowl, but playoffs, stuff like that. Well, now we're into kind of a slow stretch. What do you think about that? I, I, a lot of ups and downs since then, but um, I think a lot more downs than ups. But um, I, you know, once you fall in love with the team, that's it. You're just staying with it. So. Yeah, no, I don't know what about that. Um, what do you think about the season so far? Do you think that at three and two, after coming off of two horrible losses, one was a heartbreaker going against Cincinnati, and then the blowout against New England? What do you think the Dolphins did today against the Bears? Obviously, the Florida match and stuff like that. I think I think they're going to do okay. I think without Tannehill, though, it's going to be a little more. It's going to be a little harder. Um, I really think that uh, we could easily could be four one. Right. When you look at it. Uh, so no, I I think that it's going to be a pretty good game today. I, I really think that the defense has to stand, has to maybe step it up a little bit, but uh, you know to make up for it. But uh, no, I think we're going to be okay. You have a score prediction, anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to lean one way. You know that, right? Yeah, so, right. Uh, I'm going to go 2017. <laughs> right. I, do. I really for the Dolphins. I really think that they're good at putting up offense. Like I said, without without Tannehill, it's going to be tough. All right, cool. So that's it here from Dolphins.com. Thank you guys so much, and fins up. <laughs> Dolphins football. It's not gonna save you. Brock making adjustments. Pressure coming, gets it off. Nick O'Leary. Woo! Let's go! First down. Hard Rock Stadium right over there. The Bears fans are just super loud. I can't hear it on the thing right now. And now they're kind of done, but just a second ago they were freaking lining it up. Dolphins going for two. This is the tie the game. Rolling out, he's got someone open. Twenty-three left. 
Clark has to come out of the timeout. Huge play here for the Dolphins. Kicker, Matt Nagy, calls timeout. We're going to keep this rolling, though. Oh, that was kind of cool. Damn, the zoom in the, the iPhone comes out a lot nicer. Uh, quick note, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, this has been a great game to watch. Go check out DolphinsTalk.com. Hopefully, everything uh, goes well. And hopefully, uh, the Dolphins win this game. You'll know by the time I get home, but... Uh, this has been an amazing opportunity. I was able to get two people to come and uh, talk to me. And uh, they were very, very gracious about it. And I really enjoyed that. I went to about six or seven people before that. Half of them in the parking lot. And none of them wanted to talk. So hopefully Jason Sanders can send this game. That's been fucking amazing. <clears throat> Off into the sunset. Make it. Dolphins are 4-2. Miss it. Dolphins are 3-2-1. and one. Huge kick. Snap is good. All good. Kick. Let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Jason Sanders! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Let's go! Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins on the wall. Let's go! Woo! Best man 
Lewis, my compatriot. Mario Dobbins just pulled off a game winner here. Jason Sanders can get a 47 yard field goal to win the game. 31 to 28. A lot of Dolphins fans, very, very happy. Lewis, my guy, how was your first Dolphins game? It was a little stressful, but interesting. Special be interesting. We got the double. Let's go, Dolphins! 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 This is take four. The Miami Dolphins just won a nail biter, 31 28 in overtime. Brock Osweiler leading the team down to get a field goal after a Cody Parkey wide right. And it was all there for Jason Sanders, the seventh round rookie, to make the field goal. The Dolphins played pretty good. I think offensively they played really well. Brock Osweiler, although he had three or two bad interceptions uh, and the three touchdowns, he had a career high in yards. But he was very decisive with the ball and some of them. Uh, I guess like some errant passes, but he knew when to throw it away. Great pocket presence. I really liked seeing him. Honestly, I wouldn't mind the change at quarterback, but I would prefer Tannehill unless he's injured. But I do think that Brock had a great game, and I, I think that he played very well. Uh, besides that, I think that I, we ran the ball pretty well. Gore had over 100 yards rushing. Kenny Andre did have a fumble, which was not ideal. Uh, so he did get the fumble there in the end zone with, at the one-yard line when we could have won the game and I even had to have the game winning field goal so that was a little iffy but besides that he played really well made some people miss Albert Wilson is a freaking monster he had an insane game as well the defense like I said played really well we had some pass rush we ended up getting down to three pass rushers as Jonathan Woodard ended up being in concussion protocol uh, so he was out for the rest of the game but they played very well uh, they weren't able to get stops there's a lot of issues on defense still uh, in secondary needs help besides uh, Xavier Howard, we need Bobby McCain back. Um, there were some penalties here and there that weren't really our fault, but besides that, everything else went good.